Hey. You front are here with uh, Harriman head coach uh, Doug Souls, uh, finally getting the three-peat, uh, and obviously in probably the most emphatic and remarkable and uh, historic fashion uh, that any group has done, uh, whether they were a wolf pack from Temecula or Mustangs from uh, from Harriman, uh, Utah. Uh, just I, I told the guys, uh, and I, I say this with the most sincere respect for them, that they're starting to, uh, to make the you know the extraordinary uh, look ordinary. Like just how proud were you of just kind of just how in the moment they were tonight and just you know and just really relish this opportunity. Well we mapped out what we thought we would run and they were pretty close as far as times went. So we were uh, a little bit further back in a couple places than we wanted to be but there's just so many good guys in there it's really hard. But when it came to time it was about what we thought we would run. So we're super excited. Um, we've got some guys that are still figuring it out. You know they're new to this and, and not not been on this type of a stage before like Eli Jarvis and, and uh, Jackson Spencer. And those guys ran great tonight. So, I mean, our sixth guy was 14-18, you know, our first guy was 13-49. Not a whole lot to complain about when you got guys running like that, so. Absolutely. Just, uh, just in terms of, I mean, we know it's gonna mesh in training. We know it's gonna mesh in, you know, smaller fields in, in Utah, right? But when, you know, when guys like Eli and Jackson, but I mean, obviously, you know, like you know, all the others as well, like when it meshes in a field of this size, of, the, of this depth, of, of, of this strength, like not just for September 21st, but just how encouraged does this, does this have you, you know, as you look to the next step at Sugar House, the next step in Toka Sticks and, you know, the ultimate step in Oregon? Yeah, I mean, we'll go to Bob Furman next week and yes. then after that we'll focus on state. Um, we never assume anything at state. We haven't won one yet up there, you know, so it takes time to, to overcome some of the teams that really have the rhythm down for um, Utah. And I think we're figuring it out, but the course changed. So, you know, ultimately we'll, we'll try to make sure we don't have kind of a, a crash after, you know, the big trips. We got back to back big trips and we'll just try to dial it in, get through state, and then we'll, we'll be ready for our ultimate goal, which is, is to run really well at NXN. Absolutely. Obviously, I know throughout the, your career that you always want, you know, the, uh, the input and, and, and let the, you know the student athletes you know, decide on like you know on, on on these trips, you know. And obviously, you have to have a mature group. You have to have a focused group to be able to say, hey, we're we're going to run Woodbridge and you know, uh, you know Bob Furman uh, back to back. But obviously, it seems like these guys give you no reason, you know, to uh, to uh, to pause on that. But yeah. but I mean that that is. You know that, that is something that I appreciate about them uh, uh, the most. That it's like, yeah, they're gonna you know, they're gonna enjoy tonight. But it's like, hey, you know what? We have an opportunity to get better in the next training session, and we have an opportunity to get better on a you know on a remarkably different course next week in uh, at Eagle, uh, Eagle Island. So, but yeah, just how much trust do you have in them in that respect? Well, when you when you take them from kind of the basics to the elite level. Um, there's a, there's a bond that forms there where they know they can talk to you and you can talk to them and so you know the the Tang twins and Tayshawn and Noah Manwaring those guys you know we know them well we know what their thought patterns are and uh, they come to me and say these are the things we want and so my job is to try to make those things happen for them and um, for the most part I think that's been the case you know we've been we've been uh, slowly but surely closing in on on becoming the team that we want to be and I think tonight gives us an idea what that looks like and you know it's a completely different racing style and course next week so some of the teams up there are remarkably good and I'm sure you know we'll get challenged a little bit and we'll have to continue to fine-tune but you know I mean all of the regular season stuff for us is make mistakes fix it and, and then make sure we're ready for the postseason so by the time we hit NXR I'm, I'm hoping that we're really clicking on all, all cylinders. Awesome uh, last thing you know to, to round us out where, where we started I mean obviously you know how precious it is to get one of these, to get a back-to-back -back or whatever. You've had amazing teams, you know, that maybe, you know, just, you know, for a multitude of circumstances, just, you know, weren't able to, uh, to click, you know, on, on that third time. So the fact, you know, that you're, you know, doing it with this group and you're doing it in the, you know, the, the deepest, most elite, you know, you know regular season field, uh, like just you know, how, for all the things that you've been a part of and, you know, and all the, the groups that you've, you know, enjoyed moments like this in your career. Like, uh, you know, how how significant is this? Because you know how you know how challenging it is to you know, to do one of these at these at this level, let yeah. alone three. It's, it's extremely hard to win Woodbridge. Um, so to win it for the third time with Harriman, Utah, is extremely exciting for me. Because what that means is we had a, a group of kids that bought in at a very high level and said someday that's going to be my turn. Um, and you know, you see, to see these guys as seniors and say, yeah, that hurt but I wasn't going to let my teammates down. And you start, you start seeing those right pieces 
Um, culturally, you start seeing the, the mindset that they can do the things that we believe they can do. And, um, and the more they believe, the harder they are to beat. So we've got the pieces to be very special. And if we can keep that going, this might be the best team I've ever coached. You know, We're, we're on that path right now, so I'm excited about it. Fantastic. Uh, safe trip back home, safe trip to, uh, to, uh, to Idaho. I uh, can't wait to see uh, where the bar gets raised uh, to the stratosphere uh, that's above this one right now. But we're all enjoying living in the rarefied air of Harriman, Utah, and Doug Souls. Congratulations. It's going to be fun. Thank you.